Hey, I am Kimbo and I blog at agirlandaglugan.com and today I have a fun craft called a magic wallet. So when you open it up, you can insert a gift card, your library card or money. And then if you open it up the opposite way, it has swapped to the other side. Kids love making these. We made these camping and they were such a hit. And I'm going to show you how. So I was just writing up a blog post and then I realized it's so much easier if I just show you how to do it. Because when you're applying the straps and putting those on, it's a little bit tricky how you get those lined up. So I'm just putting together a quick video to show you so I can avoid further questions down the road. So what you're going to need is some scissors. I love my Fiskars, some duct tape, and luckily it comes in so many fun patterns and colors. Um, you also need cardboard. Those are the musts. I also like a pencil and I use an Altoids tin as my template. It's the perfect size for these little wallets. But you can experiment and make them bigger. You just want to make sure that whatever you're putting in there, it's going to fit underneath there. So this is the perfect card size, but if you're making it for something big, bigger, just make sure that the straps are going to keep whatever you're putting in underneath it. That makes sense. So, so I use my Altoid tin. I'm going to trace around the cardboard. You'll need two of these. I've got one, two, and then you're going to cut them out. And you can use this is pretty thick cardboard. We've used this is chip boxes, and it's thinner, so thick or thin, both work. Uh, once you have your two pieces, you're going to cover them with duct tape. So I have these wrapped. I, this is actually a repeating design, but I have to put another layer of duct tape on it to help put the straps. They stick the straps on. So I didn't worry about lining them up this time. I will try to be more careful and match it up so I get the more of a unicorn um, on the next round. But once you have these covered, you're going to need to take two pieces of duct tape and stick them together. We're going to make our straps. So here are our pieces. We have two pieces, front and back covered, and then four straps that are covered. So we're going to assemble. All right, we have a strap and our second strap. And then you're going to take a piece of duct tape. tape them in place. And then you're going to trim off. Okay. Then you're going to take these. So this is where they're taped on. We're going to flip them over and bend them around the piece. Try to keep them as straight as possible. We're going to take this next piece of cardboard. We're going to stick it on top, make a little sandwich. Making sure those lines are straight, the strips are straight. And then we're going to snip them. Then we're going to take a piece of duct tape. and fold it over. So we're duct taping now the second piece of cardboard that is sitting on top. Okay. 
So I've got to trim this off, but that's what it should look like. All right, for this next step, we're gonna make an X with our other two straps, and we're going to slide them underneath these two straps. And then we're gonna just try to make it as even as possible. We wanna make sure that if this strap was running all the way across, this strap wouldn't be too high. So if I do it angled up like this, then that's gonna run into this strap and it won't work. The, ma the magic part won't work. So we wanna make sure that if there was a strap here, this won't hit it on both of them. And then once you have it where you like, you're gonna fold it up. And then you're gonna trim off these excess pieces. You're just leaving about an inch out, something to tape down. Are gonna get taped to the back piece and one side is gonna get taped to the front piece. Okay, so we have this side. So we've taped up the X is on this side. So we're going to flip it over and then tape up this side. So I lay it down, push these two sides down, and then I fold it up. And you can kind of tell which side it needs to be. It's the only piece that doesn't have a second coat of duct tape on it. library card. We're going to slide it in, close it up, straight, crossed. All right, I did want to show you, I went through and matched up the seams so we have the full unicorn look. Cute on both sides. All right, make sure that you are subscribed to my channel so you don't miss any of my fun tutorials.